you know, after all these years, I finally met the original owner of this place today. But I'll deal with him later because right now it's time for the Mask Fan Attic. And I know that because you've come all the way up here to talk about interesting old Halloween masks. Now, tonight's interesting old Halloween mask is a little number from Don Post Studios. And it looks like this. And it's called Ghoul Aloha or Ghoul Aloha. Like, like, like uh, sometimes it's spelled like two words, like Ghoul and then Aloha. G-H-O-U-L-A-L-O-H-A. Or sometimes the preferred spelling, I think, is to just run it together and it's just one word, Ghoul Aloha. Okay, this is the old Ghoul Aloha and it's a kind of, uh, kind of elaborate and kind of odd mask. It's kind of got a weird freaky design to it, making it a freaky tiki. Now, if you'll take a look here, you'll see it's, it's made on a fabric, a nylon net fabric hood, basically. And when you wear it, it looks like it has this tiny little face. So it looks like you have a tiny little head with lots of hair, if you see. And the way they achieve that effect, apart from sculpting a very small face on him, like a shrunken head, is that where you actually see out of are these two uh, areas above the mask. I don't know if you can see that or not but between the wig and the uh, vinyl face of the mask, there are two little areas there that are basically eye holes with a uh, thinner type of uh, more subtle mesh fabric in them for you to see out of. So when you're wearing this, you're not seeing out of his eyes, you're seeing out of up here, okay? So if you're, if you're Mo from the Three Stooges, don't go like this, you wanna get him here, you see, sure. Okay, now, why is Gula Loa of any interest, you ask, when it just looks like a typical scary Halloween mask? Well, but apart from the weirdness of the hair, which is, I think, kind of noteworthy, is the amazing resemblance to something you might have seen before. And for your sake, I hope you're not thinking of what you see in the mirror every morning. I hope you're thinking of a 1975 made-for-TV movie called Trilogy of Terror, uh, the third story of which included the Zuni fetish doll, and I just happen to have one here, so you can uh, shop and compare. The Zuni fetish doll that terrorized Karen Black in her apartment in a really great, really creepy, cool, scary, fun TV uh, episode of Trilogy of Terror. Uh, I think it was just called The Doll. I think it was just called The Doll. But anyway, here we have the, uh, the uh, Zuni fetish doll from Trilogy of Terror. Here we have the much later Ghoul Aloha mask, and I think it's easy to see there was some inspiration there, wouldn't you say? I mean, they look an awful lot alike, apart from the fact that one guy is going, uh, and the other one's going, uh, uh, they're, they're very similar indeed. And making this an ideal costume for you to wear at Halloween if you're about 14 inches tall and very thin and good with a spear. Uh, now, when did this mask come out? Well, here's where you have to be a, a mask detective. Put on your mask detective hat. <clears throat> here's where you have to be a mask detective because, okay, you see the hang tag here, the, the hashtag right on here, clipped onto the mask. It says 2007 Don Post Studios. So you'd think, oh, 2007 is when this came out. But you look on the inside and there is a sewn-in fabric uh, tag on the inside which says 2001 Don Post Studios. Now, what do you figure happened there? Hmm? What do you think this indicates? Was this mask actually made in 2001 and then maybe uh, rolled under a table and laid on the floor somewhere at Don Post Studios for six years until it finally got a tag uh, fastened onto it? Or do you think maybe there was uh, some sort of cataclysmic crack in the walls of reality itself uh, creating a rupture in the time continuum that allowed a mask from 2007 to go back in time to 2001 and be made six years earlier than it should have? Or did in fact a mask from 2001 tumble through the crack in reality into 2007, six years into its own future, and, and then got a tag at it? Well, all those are equally good uh, theories, equally plausible, I think. But the fact of the matter is, it actually came out in 2007. And the reason there's a 2001 tag in there is because they had some leftover tags and they went ahead and used them up even though it was later than the 
date on the tag, but he actually uh, shows up in the 2007 Don Post catalog in which he is uh, part of the new lineup. It says new Gulaloa. And uh, well, I, I recommend it as a Trilogy of Terror fan. It's not the greatest mask ever invented. It's not the most uh, collectible, but it wasn't meant to be a big collectible. It was just made to be a fun little Halloween mask that uh, might remind you of that great old spooky movie Trilogy of Terror. And it's pretty nicely sculpted and painted. I haven't done anything to this one. I didn't uh, you know, do any work on it or anything. This is straight from Don Post. And I think it's fun. So for that reason, I think everybody who likes Trilogy of Terror or Don Post masks or both should look for the Trilogy of Terror inspired mask called Ghoul Aloha. And uh, well, aloha until next week when I hope to see your face back again here in the attic with all these monsters.